SEC investigation has big implications for Coinbase in terms of whether they are operating as an unregistered exchange. So what are you watching for and its significance to the crypto industry at large? Yeah, so, I mean, this case, we kind of expected it to come, although these are, you know, informal um, uh, reports. And so we don't have certainty that this, this is actually an action ongoing, but because of the SEC's case earlier about insider trading, um, which alleged that numerous securities that are listed on Coinbase are indeed securities, we kind of expected this to come. Um, so, you know, we've looked that the SEC could likely bring actions against those um, those those assets which it deemed to be securities in its complaint, as well as um, against Coinbase as an unregistered either broker dealer or exchange. So we saw this coming, um, and it's been expected actually lately because just over the past few months with the statements that Chair Gensler had said, um, stating his view that crypto exchanges had to come in and register and that crypto platforms um, most likely trade securities and that we should see this uptick in enforcement and examination. So I think this is something the industry has been expecting, but given that came, Coinbase is such a large market participant here and how closely it's been working with the SEC in listing its, its assets, um, as its general counsel has, has stated, it is, it is a shock to the to the market and to the industry right as you mentioned the sec alleged last week that seven cryptocurrencies listed on coinbase for securities in an unrelated insider trading case brought against a former coinbase product manager is that a warning to those crypto projects that they could be issuing unregistered securities well, it, it is, and, and that's something that the, the SEC has been, um, especially Chair Gensler has been stating that he thinks a lot of these platforms are trading um, securities and, and assets that are securities. He thinks it's very unlikely that any of them are not trading securities. Um, but Coinbase and other platforms do go through rather rigorous processes to try and um, ensure that what they're listing is not indeed a security. So, you know, I think this is... This is something that um, other platforms should be on the watch for. This is something that I think um, is going to be targeted. We've heard this from the SEC as well as the DOJ, um, not only in bringing it against crypto exchanges, but their recent focus on gatekeepers. And um, I think Coinbase and other exchanges would also be considered gatekeepers. Um, something, mm -hmm. you know, what, what really strikes me about this case and is... Um, the fact that the SEC has brought an insider trading action alleging that certain secure, certain assets are securities, which means that in to have jurisdiction, these assets have to be securities. So in proving their case, um, this is the SEC is sailing in uncharted waters here. They have to not only show that these are securities, which is certainly something that's rather unsettled, but then also they have to extend the theory of insider trading to this um, alleged scheme. And so this is a very difficult case that the SEC is bringing um, and really is, is, like I said, uncharted waters, I think. Absolutely. You know, it, it reminds me of Ethereum. You know, at the beginning, there was a strong argument that Ethereum could have possibly been a security that became a commodity. Do smaller tokens deserve time to become commodities rather than, you know, being named securities outright, is the Howey test, which is a hundred year old law that determines what securities are, is it adequate to address that? You know, that's so interesting and it's so, you know, highly debated in, in the industry and among, you know, uh, experts in this field even. And so you'll have some who say the investment contract um, test and the investment contract was was created in a way that you can apply it to many different things. But you'll see with Commissioner Peirce, you know, she has her, um, uh, her, her proposal for a way for new assets that are originally securities to kind of morph into non-securities and kind of a, a different, a safe harbor process for them. You'll see in the uh, Gillibrand Loomis bill that they create something new called an ancillary asset, which I think is very novel and something that is worth um, looking into further here is whether there should actually be another asset class um, for, for regulations to be created, a regulatory regime for a new asset class. Mm -hmm. uh, so you, you see this debate among industry, but 
but obviously something is needed because there is a lot of confusion in the industry and there's such overlapping and fragmented uh, regulatory um, regulations, the, the regulatory regimes here. I mean, because you talk to one person and it's a security, to another person and it's a uh, commodity, a pro another person it's property, you know, and mm -hmm. it's money. And then you're trying to uh, apply all these different regulatory regimes. And so there does nef definitely need to be a more comprehensive streamlined regulation process well, here. The SEC has said that Bitcoin and Ethereum are commodities. Does this Coinbase investigation cast doubt at all on those comments? Well, I think the SEC has said that Bitcoin is a commodity and Chair Gensler said that Bitcoin is a commodity. Um, the former division of um, the SEC's, the former, sorry, um, director of the SEC's division of uh, uh, one of their divisions of corporation finance has stated that he didn't believe Ethereum was a um, a commodity. Or I'm sorry, he didn't believe Ethereum was a was a security, and so that's a not a commission statement, but a statement by a, the then director. So it does carry a lot of weight, and it would make it difficult, I think, for the SEC to now bring a case against uh, Ethereum, stating that it is not. Um, a security because of his statements, but you know the commission mm -hmm. has outright said that Bitcoin is a commodity, um, which makes it very difficult too to how to how to regulate these. Um, Absolutely. And this is something else. Sorry. Interesting with the um, with the exchange is that Chair Gensler had come out recently also, and he had said that he had a, asked his staff to work with the CFTC to come up with some sort of exchange regulatory regime among the two agencies, which would make sense if some are considered securities and some are considered commodities. And then on the heels of that, just brought this action. So that's that adds further confusion to the industry. Absolutely. You know, and perhaps maybe it will fast forward some sort of clarity on this. But Coinbase, at the expense of Coinbase, unfortunately, but Coinbase has often lamented the lack of clarity by the SEC. CEO Brian Armstrong once criticized the SEC for creating regulation by litigation when they were trying to bring a lending product to market. Has Coinbase done enough to avoid running afoul of the SEC? Well, I don't know that it's done enough because it seems like it has run afoul of the SEC, but it definitely did seem like Coinbase was trying very, very hard to work with the SEC. Um, and, you know, even when they they had the disclosures in their in their prior 10 Q um, about about an inquiry into some of their products, the Coinbase seemed to um, forego, you know, launching those products because the SEC had some sort of issue with it. And, you know, and I, I watched panels years ago with the Coinbase and the SEC talking about how they were working together um, on listing non-securities. And so I think Coinbase has done a lot to try and avoid um, regulatory scrutiny and has tried to work with the regulator. Uh, but it obviously, you know, can't hasn't hasn't completely um, avoided regulatory scrutiny and possibly an enforcement action.